How's it going, Kingsman? I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to another Napoleonic Total War 3 battle. Today, um, I want to start by saying I think I found one of the coolest spots in any NTW3 map. This is a Spain 5A. And look at this mission. Look at how awesome this looks. Um, I'm not sure if it got reworked in 9.0, but man, does it look real nice. Um, just so, so cool. I don't know why this is just... It gives the vibe of like a broken down mission, like the Alamo. And it has, you know, a whole courtyard, ruins, like an old chapel on the side. Like this was like a mission, and then they had like a, or they had a church. But anyway, the French are over here by this super cool looking mission. They even got like, you know, the walls going around. It's actually this whole map. I am showing you more of it. Um, like I said before, a 4v4 Blan... Oh man, I just looked at his name too. Uh, Black... Blacko? Like, uh, probably butchering it. Uh, sent this replay in. I'll show you his name at the end. And uh, special thanks to him and to you if you are watching this video. Um, this was a low point game. Apparently it was 30 points on each side. Look at this bridge as well. Look at how grand it looks. You got these cool looking towers. You got more dope looking buildings. It's just such a cool looking map. I mean, battle aside, this would be a cool map to explore. You know, be a really cool map. They even got some more uh, LLC over here. Anyway, I am digressing a ton. Um, like I said, guys, a low point game. There is a Portuguese seven pointer, a uh, UK nine Portuguese UK nine pointer, a eight point Austria, Austria, and then an HRE six pointer. Um, and they're going up against some equal points, I'm sure, some low points of France. Already Portuguese, and the thing about the Portuguese guys is their cav is not the greatest. Um, France may easily be able to uh, destroy them. It looks like they're pushing up some cavalry. I hear some hussars. Um, there's also, looks like some action happening over here with the HRE. Uh, looks like we have a, a French Bavarian army. And you can hear it already marching down this row. We see some line infantry over here already watching this bridge. So these bridges definitely improved. I don't think you would kill your artillery going across them. So I like to see that. They are definitely, guys, the Lord's are, uh, Discord is a place to get your info. And they are definitely, those group of developers always working on improving the battlefield, the battle maps, and games in general. Look at these bridges there's so many of them and of course there is the portuguese going across the ford with all their line infantry i see a lot of different line infantry um the uk probably are going to bring more of the british line infantry i would assume yeah it looks like that's what they are bringing now they maybe also bring in cavalry we have the dragoons um some of the portuguese cav in fact, a lot more Portuguese cav than I'd like to see. <laughs> like I said, Portuguese cav, not the greatest. Um, you know. There's, of course, some more, it looks like, Portuguese line infantry. So, not as much of the UK today. Uh, they are bringing a 9-pounder as well. But the 7 pointer is going to meet up with Austria. Although, Austria and HRE look like they are going to be probably having to focus on defending this massive bridge and the LOC around it. Not going to be an easy fight for them. Uh, but they do have the reserves of Austria, or the HRE, sorry, um, pushing up. They do have some cavalry, some chevaliers. Let's see what we see. Looks like, yeah, Bavarian line infantry. We got some light infantry from France. More Bavarians. All right, so, I mean, Bavaria does weaken them. Bavarian line infantry, not the greatest. And they look like they brought a good amount of it. Some Grenadiers, possibly, as well. So, a lot of Bavarians. So, Austria may not be too badly off. They are, of course, using their light infantry or light cap to scout. And you see the other French army rolling down here. It's like a four pounder, and then just line infantry, possibly. These may be uh, Swiss, actually. That is possibly Swiss line infantry there. Can't tell what the rest of that is. Uh, but I think the first clash is probably going to be where with Austria. Oh, in the U.S. I forgot. My bad. Uh, USA is here. Very odd, uh, you know, for them to be on this battlefield in Spain. But, you know, 
who can doubt the uh, fervor and patriotism to fight the British? They drove them off of the U.S., and now they're here to try to drive them off of Spain, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if they're successful this day. There is, of course, some, you know, some water here. They could throw some more tea to uh, make the British mad. No, I'm just kidding. For all my British viewers, or UK, sorry, UK viewers, that is not a shot towards you. It is a shot towards Dino. And I'm just, I'm, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm messing around a little too much. We need to focus on this battlefield here. So the Portuguese, like, they're going to be taking this center one-pointer. Four-pointer is definitely going to be worth fighting for. And you can see there is a raised hill, almost like a wall here. Kind of looks like there could be, you know, these could be have been fruit trees. Uh, the French, I don't think, are actually pushing across here. I think they were. Uh, HRE has a beautiful five-pounder artillery position. We have some skirmishers possibly inching up to uh, skirmish them. And the Austrians are going to have to shift. I would say they would want to defend this area right here from the U.S. and this area from the French. Now, there could be another French army over here, so there could be one French army by themselves here, which would actually be really good. Um, that's a 2v1, that means. And then these two just have to be defensive. They have a nice little enclosed area to fight in. It's perfect for being defensive. Uh, artillery, you can see the French artillery firing, even hitting some of these grenadiers. Get these grenadiers in safety, or get them in the sunken road. That is one thing about this map I do remember, the sunken road. Actually, if you put them right here, it is very difficult for artillery to hit them. So maybe something they want to consider. We do have French pouring in through the gap in the wall here. I would have liked to have seen some skirmishers, maybe some calves, some line of infantry up, maybe trying to skirmish a little further. Uh, maybe even have some right here to post to defend. I don't know if this is even possible. It probably is. But we do have the USA pushing up some of their lights. Causing Austria to actually fall back their hussars. And you know the USA are rolling down this road, as well as probably the French, so this is going to be tough. Um, but we do already have the French advance here. They are getting shot in the flank by a beautifully placed 5-pounder. Um, and you can see they're shredding them up. France taking some hits. I'd be worried about this army going by themselves. I would wait as Bavaria. You're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Austria. And 5v... However many this is. is firing... What? 8? Right? Yeah, 8. Make sure my math is right. So we have the HRE going to push up to defend the flank as France is going to push up with the remainder of their army. Over here, I do not see the French doing much, um, which is why maybe the Portuguese are shifting. Yeah, they're shifting over some troops. I was going to say, say they should be shifting over reinforcements to this side. We do see oh, some of the French here. Sir, some cab getting shot. Um... The nice thing is these generals can take shelter in this area. It's a sunken road. And they can push up. As you can see, already pushing up. The USA has some skirmishers here. I would not be surprised if the USA is going to uh, try to skirmish. But look out for that Austrian Chevalier unit. The USA may not be prepared for that. Although France may have some <clears throat> dragoons. Yeah. Uh, pull them back. Pull them back. France is going to push up their uh, dragoons and the usa is going to be in for it the fight obviously is raging in this side we have some skirmishers trying to take down the flank of the austrian line hre is now in position this is going to be a tough choke point for the usa to push up through they may uh need the french to form a line first we do have a cab charge chevaliers Going against the lights of USA, I think the US are not going to do as well, but if France charges up their Dragoons, um, that'll be a huge uh, flank, although they got to be watching out for the HRE line of tree, or they're probably going to start firing into the flank if they do charge, so that's something to consider as well, and I don't know, the French should push up some line infantry as well, because this is huge mass, all these skirmishers are in here, and... HRE are having a field day just firing into this mass. You can see they are actually shooting a lot of these Dragoons. This is a poorly placed cab charge by France. They are going to lose them before they even truly get in this fight. 
They need to pull them out and get their oh, line of history up. Running, they did lose their Chevaliers. Um, but France, or the U.S., are now stuck super close to some huge masses of line of tree, and these guys are probably very tired, um, which is going to make it very difficult for them to attack very easily. Uh, France actually is getting pushed here. Those skirmishers getting run down by some Lancers. Easily running them down. Maybe going for some artillery next. We do have some uh, Chasseur Cheval charging in. These Lancers are going to get themselves out of there, though. France is actually probably going to start caving in against Austria. They need the U.S. to get in this fight first. And um, the Portuguese are sending over line infantry. So they're sending over some line infantry to help hold the outside of this flank as the U.S. and France are pushing up here. This is going to be a concerning flank. Um, we have some line infantry, possibly some skirmishers that pushed up. And they are getting just shot to pieces. They're trying to push their way through this uh, gate. Still nothing from this army over here. In fact, France maybe shipped. If France was smart right here, they would ignore this and they would shift over here. They would hit right here on the flank and collapse on this one unit. Never isolate yourself. We do have some cavalry charging in they hit a square unfortunately with those grenadiers or dragoons sorry and a uh, france maybe was going to two a bayonet charge they're getting charged by uh, line infantry instead france needs to slow down this attack they need to choreograph a little bit better with their ally the u.s need to get in here first before they just start pushing in and then you want to do some bayonet charges against the uh coalition that is what's going to save you here. More bayonet charges. But France is getting repulsed as they were trying to go in. And now they're pushed up even more line infantry here. But this is some of the best of the Austrian troops here, guys. Our so men are running, sir. that may not be the greatest place to punch through, but here comes the USA. Oh, my, my, my computer's not able to take the huge spam of line infantry. Is, is the US just charging in with skirmishers? Yeah, they're not going to make this. So, just to kind of get an idea of what is happening here. <laughs> the U.S. is meleeing the HRE. Um, HRE, I probably have a lot going on, so, you know, they're going to try, probably try to be as careful as they can not to uh, fim fire and melee uh, against the U.S. as that could be very disastrous. The HRE holding their lines. Austria is uh, now taking on cavalry and more line infantry. HRE even pushed up here with some of their line infantry. And the U.S. just constantly pushing here. They are just getting smacked around, unfortunately. Uh, the U.S. may want to chalk up their losses and fall back here. As this French army is starting to lose, they should fall running, back. Sir. I think the U.S. and France need to regroup here. They are so disorganized right now. I I mean, UK, Portugal are pushing across with the rest of the Portuguese. I mean, they need to regroup, make some decisions, better decisions maybe. They, they are not, they are pushing into a small choke point where the HRE are standing and shooting. Now, it looks like actually Austria may start to lose their flank but they have some reserves that they're going to push up here and i think they broke at least half of the french bavarian army here so they are doing all right um they could even fall back from this loc and hold on both sides of it let the loc do some of the firing make it more difficult for the french to even make a push here the u.s have now shifted more troops across they are standing in a line fight with the HRE. 
who have reserves, mind you. They have the side of the fence, and uh, I think the HRE are doing very well here. The U.S. do have the reserves, which, they, like I said, they are standing in a line, so they can uh, push up their reserves in the back. In fact, they may have to take over where Austria is now pushing out because France just massively broke there. Um, over here, we do have the French. Okay, the French should hold this hill. Use this wall to your advantage and hold this hill. Hold right here. Um, I guarantee you it'll be a huge advantage for you. Um... If you don't have to fight along the entire line, use like your artillery, do some shooting. Exactly what it's doing. Um, start tearing apart this smaller UK Portuguese army. The rest of the French are pushing up, but they are getting hammered by artillery here. Um, looks like they're going to go for the one point here. I think they should be trying to collapse in. Pushing in here, yes, would be a good idea than collapsing in behind this coalition of two armies. I think France, I don't know if they even still engaged or if they fell back enough. More line infantry going in for the bayonet charge. Oh my gosh. All right. So the problem is as soon as they charge in they're getting shot in the face by this hre force this is what's killing them look at that that's that what like i said it, I, it may be unintentional but oh gosh they they've been shooting the u.s in the face a lot on um, maybe just that one point like i said i'm not seeing the whole thing um the u.s need to stop advancing up to attack them this is a suicide mission they need to fall back a little bit um, because they Turi are definitely... Oh, we have a cap charge here. Chester Cheval clashing with the Portuguese. You'll see how terrible the Portuguese cap is when they immediately break. The U... Our men are running, sir. They did save their artillery, though. Uh, France is going to start pushing up here. They did get rid of the Portuguese guns for a moment. Um, the U.S. pushing up still. Uh, there's a French force here, but we do have some cab charging in. Going in for the U.S. once more. We have another bayonet charge by the U.S. How many bayonet charges are they going to make? And this line is now fighting in melee, but the U.S. are getting volleyed along this whole line. They just keep throwing away troops. They need to stop this. <laughs> they are not a melee uh, strong faction, so they need to not do that. Uh, we do have a Portuguese or uh, some Austrians who are trying to hold this LOC. Some cab charged the French and they got squared on. Um, France now has a couple options here. They're starting to outmaneuver this Portuguese army. That artillery is gone, so now France can't advance up here. Maybe take this one pointer and get behind and surround this army. But uh, Austria actually is doing very well here. They are destroying the U.S. In fact, the U.S. should form up right here. Form up right here. Um, even the odds, so you have the same amount of troops as the HRE have. Because right now, you can see they have a couple units, and the HRE have this huge semicircle on them, which means way more troops can be put in this line than can in this small area. So if they fell back to here, um, the HRE would have to do the same in order to actually fire and uh, return fire on them. So, U.S. should use their massive numbers to be able to keep in a line fight for a very long time because this is not their winning advantage here. Their winning advantage is going to be over here where France is going to start pushing forward here. Uh, in fact, we got some Dragoons who are fighting against what looks like some uh, Hussars. And they are destroying them, and France is starting to push here. So, Austria is going to start falling back here. Um, we do have the UK taking on one of the French armies. Um, a lot of the UK Portuguese, Portuguese, all facing off against France. 
France is preparing to meet the UK Portuguese, while Portugal is in the center. They're going to help try to close in and secure their center. HRE seem to be taking some losses here now. Um, if the US can stop melee charging, they will do well. They will start shooting down the HRE. But they need to let their guns fire. In fact, even look at this. Austria is falling back here. They're leaving HRE to hold on their own, maybe. Or leaving their units in reserve, because they are pretty shot up. France now going to start pushing. It looks like that Portuguese cav did deal with the artillery piece that France had, unfortunately. So no France is without guns, uh, but they're going to push up on the UK. As they may be trying to push up for this four-pointer. That may be exactly, I bet you that's exactly what their plan is. Um, the rest of the Portuguese army is pushing over this one-pointer as France is going to start trying to collapse in the center. Maybe get around this force. Still a raging firefight here. Where the U.S. are finally getting into the element All here. Men are running, sir. Firing, and you can see now they aren't bayonet charging. Um, they are actually doing really well. They, are, they have reserves, they have plenty of reserves, and they're starting to really shoot up the HRE. Austria and HRE actually seem to not be holding as well um, as before, and France is actually making an indent. Now, this could end up being a coalition victory, which could be, in the long run, very, very good. Just keep in mind, it, okay, well, this unit's not going hit, to be hitting very much, but the, the uh, UK have some excellent reloading speed, accuracy, firing... So they could definitely start doing damage to this French army. They're sending one of their units way over here to this four-pointer. Take the mission. The mission is the mission. Ha. Yeah, so uh, we do have the Portuguese. They're going to push up. Uh, France taking this LSC. They're going to defend this one-pointer as they are going to start trying to collapse in behind the HRE. Oh, we have the HRE now charging in. This building has fallen to the and, enemy. And uh, they are shaking and wavering. We have reserves for the USA pushing up here. But the, actually, the HRE seem to be routing a couple of the US forces. Okay, so they took one of those. They took another one over here, just in case. Um, there's not 30 minutes left in this replay yet, so they are okay. Hold on, something is, something's going on here. All right, let's make sure. We do have some cavalry going in. We got the Dragoon Guards charging some Dragoons. And the UK Cav is definitely better in a head-to-head -head combat with no flanking. And I think the French don't have enough Cav even to protect this side. So, um, initial combat, very good. Uh, we do have the Portuguese. if you trying to go this LOC. The French definitely still have it, though. <clears throat> the U.S. are pushing up once more here, renewing their assault. You can't get rid of Americans that All easily. Men are running, sir. You know? <laughs> um, they are pushing up the reserves. They have a lot of them. So they're going to keep pushing up. Looks like they've been shelling this LOC. Ooh. It's at 100% damage. One more shot. Someone sneezes in that LOC, it's going leveled. Now that the French have the cab disadvantage, they are going to start suffering here. As you can see, um, infantry going to need to form square if they're going to... Oh, they did form square, didn't they? Yep. So the UK needs to not throw away their advantage here. They have an advantage when it comes to cavalry. And they can't lose that advantage. They are going against some squares here. Uh, France, if they play the cards right, they can break a lot of cav here. But they are going to uh, hold, try holding the center. Uh, the UK in one All long line here. Running, Portuguese still fighting for this one pointer over here. Looks like the US are uh, getting nice and close, trying to pour in some volleys here. They have their reserves pushing up as well. Oh, we have some bayonet charges. The HRE going in with the US. 
and the US are falling back. They do have some reserves maybe to uh, hold. He has some cab though as well charging in some Lancers, some Mulanen, um, trying to break the center of the US. Way over here, it looks like uh, their squares are getting charged. Francis Square is getting charged. Very the good. The are a must Charging in the staff hard shard knots. Yeah, that's how you say that. Totally. <laughs> they're actually losing here. Probably because they're getting shot in the flank as they're trying to fight. But this this battle actually may be very, very crucial. Um, they did take the LOC and lose 100%. And the French don't want to level this. That's a four-pointer, which if is leveled with units inside of it, then it's a coalition. Um, then it's ruled as a coalition LOC. The USA may have finally be making a breakthrough here, though. Um, yeah, they're going to the side here. More troops. The HRE forces are probably tired. Men are running, sir. Yeah, they're probably very tired here. These guys are tired. Um... So fight's still raising that one little courtyard. Portugal is getting pushed back. But over here... France is actually making a pushback. They routed some of this flank battalion. That tried to go on the side here. Um, Portugal getting pushed back. In fact, they're getting charged by some cavalry here. Um, as the French have taken the one-pointer. It may come down to who can win this four-pointer. And then hold the town, of course. Um, and HRE are still holding. So, you know, they can definitely still take this fight. Um, let's say we had some Portuguese cab going in the back lines. And actually, was this a general? No, it wasn't a general. But they are in the back of lines of the French, which is going to cause problems. They're probably going to break to that square. There's a French gen right there. The U.S. have so many troops here. It's going to be very tough. For them to uh, take this and the French are pushing in the back so France is just everywhere it would seem um, looks like there was a failed bayonet chart oh my gosh no the Portuguese are getting just run down by cab and line infantry this is turning into a melee fest where France is coming out king France is wise with keeping some squares in the back, keeping some units in the back. Um, this is going to probably be a very long line fight if they can use their cab to defend their line. Hopefully they're still pushing up for the four-pointer because they may need that four-pointer. Um, if they can just hold this point for what? Oh, gosh. A lot longer than they have. I th I believe in them. They're breaking the U.S. So they can, they can take this. They can keep both four-pointers. They just got to shift over. In fact, I think the UK should break off and go to that four-pointer. What is going on here? Oh, look at the officer. All by himself. He's gonna get some. Things aren't looking too hot, though, guys, for the coalition, except for on this one flank. Everywhere else, France seems to be dominating now. Um, the Portuguese army is basically gone. Um, they have a general here that's probably about to break. They have some units in the LOC, which are really good for melee, so, you know, there's that. But the the coalition should fall back swing around imagine them holding right here you know right in front of this LOC till the very end oh is the general possibly gonna die to some King German second hussars some grenadiers trying to hold save their general they broke the French general that could be a huge uh, break huge loss for the French Way over here, HRE pushing up as the U.S. are running low on manpower now. But Austria just had a huge rout. Um, as the French have pushed through this back gate. Using their Dragoons and just mass routing the coalition. I think this is going to be a French victory, guys. I don't think... 
I don't think the coalition has it. They held so beautifully long. Um, Our men are running, sir. Yeah, I don't think they have it. That's very unfortunate. They held so long against the U.S. The U.S. took some heavy losses here. I mean, heavy losses, but the HRA are going to get back into a corner here. They're going to start wavering. LOC is being attacked. Their fight is almost over. The last fight is now over here where the French still getting has harassed by that cav from uh, the UK. Oh, they, yeah, they lost the four-pointer way back here. Um, but this cav still harassing this French army. I think the UK could definitely still win this side. Take the four-pointer. Uh, chalk it up to, you know, experience gained in a battle, I guess. Um, the U.S. now are going in for a bayonet charge here. Allied General has been killed. Enemy General killed. Oh, wow. Yeah, that cab is just harassing. Okay, they chased down that general unit. Um, France still trying to hold there. Um, at the same time, HRE are on their... It's like the Alamo, you know? Generals dismounted too. They are just trying to hold in this grove. Our men are running, sir. Guys, this is so littered with dead. It's not even funny. This is like this is like a medieval two fight. Like medieval two total war. Good grief. So that'll be the end of the coalition on the, as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. No, I was kidding. Um, they did take the four pointer. Probably gonna start. I would, I would love to see them try to hold that by the mission. But why prolong the inevitable? Maybe, maybe that's what they're thinking. I don't know. Sir, your general has been killed. This is a black day. This is a black day. The HRE Austrians held so long here. It is a pity to see them finally break. Um, they went up against three armies there, so that was a good hold. They did as long as they could. I think this all of these guys should have formed up more along here. I don't think that the uh, UK Portuguese should have advanced over there. They should have been over here. Um, and the whole Portuguese army should have stayed right here. They should have adjusted... Portuguese UK could have stayed right here and right here and then supported to keep, you know, uh, Austrians from getting hit in the back. We do have the uh, French getting bayonet charged here. By Portuguese, nonetheless. And actually, France seems to be having some morale issues. Remember, their general was killed. Um, there's a French army coming to reinforce them, but you can see the huge break. Even with Cav maybe reinforcing them, this could be huge. It may not turn the tides of battle, although a four-pointer plus... Okay, hold on. A four-pointer plus these two one-pointers. Um, technically, unless... The entire unit is dead, sir. Unless they go and take this one or this one, technically the Coalition still has an LOC advantage. They still have LOC. So, they just gotta hold these two, and hold this four-pointer, and hope the co the uh, Imperials don't try to go for the one-pointer way over here. If they do that, it is over. It's way in the back, of course, but, you know, they could go for it. Um, but, we do have some brave Portuguese line infantry going towards the LOC. I think the French are pursuing with some of their line infantry in a single file line is duck duck goose or follow the leader still a grand ah, area dead, what a grand bridge celosy is still standing somehow yes Fall back to the four-pointer. Yes, do that. That is perfect. Oh, I would love to see. Okay, I'm going to fast forward here. Um, they are falling back to this four-pointer. Oh, yes. 
they can't get flanked, guys. They can't get flanked whatsoever. They form a line here um, or form lines here and here. Um, any troops that try to push through will get hit or put them right here and right here. They won't get flanked. You know, they'll have the forest for protection. Um, that could be a very good thing. Now, Austria, as dead as they may be, are holding this LOC or holding the bridge and breaking a lot of French troops here. Look at them. Look at those Chads. Chadius Mc, McPherson. These Grens are even able to form square, guys. Now, he shouldn't form square yet because the Cavs are charged in. They should just keep firing. Oh, wow. They are just dropping them like flies. Oh, don't form square yet. I don't know if they should have formed square at all, to be honest. But uh, Austria is going to try to hold here. They're going to get attacked. Um, French are pushing up to this LOC, which... Did they not make it? Did they break? They did, those cowards. How did they break? Why did they break? They were just marching. <laughs> Uh, France is now going to start pouring in through these LOCs, which are vacant, I do believe. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. They're going to try to hold by a four-pointer, but it's not going to be enough. They had to hold both the, the one-pointers. So it's going to come up to a final stand here the, uh, by the four-pointer. He's going to consolidate his entire army. Um, this this Grenadier unit may try sneaking back to the four-pointer. You never know. Or they may just try to go for the one-pointer, but France is going to push up. We will skip probably to when the action begins again. Alright guys, so we are back with renewed attacks here in the forest. The USA and the French are going in for the troops by the forest as well as on the other side. This battle just heated up out of nowhere. Cavalry going to try to go for that uh, artillery piece. Well, yeah, more troops push up here. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be the beginning of the end here. But that cab just got toasted by Graveshot. Uh, you see the hot fire. The Portuguese UK are pushing up here. But more bayonet charges going in here. Some more and more French start to arrive. Man. So the van charge is carrying across to here, and last but not least to fall is going to be, of course, All the hope is lost, sir. This LOC. Is almost up. And they may be issuing out to fight them, I'm not sure. There's certainly enough uh, French here. <laughs> and yeah, they're going to start shooting it into pieces. And I think that'll be uh, the battle. Oh, there's some fighting happening over here. LSC's being attacked. So more and more French are going to start pushing up here. And 
And that should be the last, I do believe, of the uh, horses. Now, there may be that Austrian Grenadier unit going for that four-pointer, but it's not going to matter. They're going to lose the other one. So, uh, they're going to go in bravely. They're confident about this, but, oh, man, that'll mean that it's going to run down to the limit, time limit. <laughs> They're not going to steal victory, though. I think the French have too many LOCs. All they're going to have is a four-pointer. So I may just skip to the end, guys, because they're just going to sit in this LOC at this point and wait for the timer to ring. USA has an artillery crew. The USA may actually save this if they can attack this Gren unit in the back. Could they break them to end this fight? No way. Uh, I was hopeful. I was hopeful. <laughs> um, this LC actually is still being held. So. This building has fallen to the right, enemy. Sorry, guys. I'll skip to the end because at this point it's all over. So I'll skip to the very end where you see the stats of the losses and kills. So. All right, guys, this one was sent in by, where is his name? Lico? Lico. I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering your name, but thank you for that. Um, playing as the HRE, holding hands the U.S. You can see the U.S. took some heavy losses, 2,000, almost double. Well, actually, they actually exchanged the losses pretty well here at the very end. You can see I mean, kills actually was very close to each other. Uh, while dueling out for that, but the kills on both sides, pretty good. Um, yeah, so the lineup tree definitely got the most kills here against that U.S. bayonet charges. Definitely did not work out well for them, so unfortunately, we're unable to secure victory, but they fought very hard, so good job on both sides. Um, well, guys, that's about it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.